Let's see what else is going on in the garden besides this down limb. Hello and welcome to Kim's Cozy Corner. I am going to give you an update on how everything's doing after some very strong winds and heavy rain over the last few days. Hello and welcome to Kim's Cozy Corner. It's been a uh, rough few days with the weather, the wind, the rain, and a tropical depression which was just rain and wind by the time it got to southwest Ohio but I want to show you the condition of the garden and hopefully harvest a few things. Today is the last day of September and over the weekend we had some pretty heavy winds and rain come in um, because of a hurricane that came up through the country. Now I want to be clear my prayers go out to everyone who's been affected by the hurricane and the tropical depression as it came through. For me, this is nothing. I mean, I am blessed. I am, I am in good shape, but there are others out there that are not in the same condition. So let me start by saying my prayers are with those who did have lots and lots of issues. Um, but I did have a little bit of wind, so it blew a few things around. And I just wanna show you how I'm doing and some of the stuff I'm gonna have to figure out now that I got leaves everywhere and a few limbs down in the back back here. So let's just walk around and see what we got to deal with here. Now, I was very fortunate. I didn't lose power um, to my home, but quite a few of my neighbors did lose power and there are still people without power today. And today is Monday and the storm came through on Friday, but I was very fortunate I just have a whole bunch of leaves, mostly on the ground, just a lot of leaves and a few limbs, but nothing super, super bad. Lots of leaves in the yard here. And we hadn't seen rain for almost two months. So we desperately needed that slow soaking rain that we've been getting since Friday. And so that part, that's a plus, we needed it. My grass was completely dead. And look, it's already back. It's already green and needs to be cut again, y'all. I need to cut the grass again already, just from the three days of rain. Now, I think we only got a couple inches of rain total, total for my area, but those couple inches over three days has just really greened everything up for me nothing like the 20 plus inches of rain that I've heard that they got in some areas. So I have been very fortunate and blessed not to have to deal with that. Now, this is my one and only issue right here. This is a pretty big limb though, y'all. This big old limb right here came down during the wind and it was actually on one of my lines up here. And it was dangling from that line for, I don't know, about half of the day. And then as the wind continued to blow, it brought it down. And y'all, this is not a small limb. This is not small at all. So this limb behind me that I'm talking about, y'all, it was hanging on a line, but it just happened to be a line that wasn't in use anymore. It wasn't my electricity. It wasn't my electricity or anything like that. So no damage, no concerns for me and my home. But now I gotta cut that up, y'all. I gotta cut that up and do something with it. And believe it or not, this limb was already dead. It was already dead and just sitting up in this tree right here. From 2019, when we had tornadoes come through this area and it took out several of the branches of that tree right there that I'm showing you. We hired someone to come in and take care of it. And it wasn't until a couple of months ago that we realized that this was still sitting up in the tree. Well, it's not in the tree anymore. It's on the ground. So we will get our little chainsaw. We'll get it cut up and put it to the firewood pile. But that's it, y'all. That's all I got to complain about. That's it. We're in good shape. Now, I wasn't able to get out to the garden to harvest anything. So 
This is really my first real trip to the garden to kind of see what's going on. Everything was kind of already dead, oh no, and dying back. But with all of that rain over the last few days, y'all, the tomatoes are all split open. Let me show you. It might be very difficult to see, but all of that rain, all that water just split these tomatoes wide open. So we're gonna go ahead and harvest. Like, look at that. All right, we will try to use what we can. And what we can't use, we will compost. I mean, like, look at that. Now, some of my younger tomatoes still look pretty good but anything that was almost ready is split. Let's get these off the vine. Let me put you down. Yep, these are all split. Let's get them all off the vine. The little young tomatoes, they're happy. They're good to go. Well, look at that. There's a cucumber there that was happy. Hopefully it stays happy. Now I know mom has already gotten the okra just a few minutes ago. She said she got the okra, so we don't have to worry about that. Well, that's interesting. I got grapes coming on again. Grapes should not be coming in now. They should be finished. Let's see what else we got going on. Uh-oh, I got a trash can down. But that's it, y'all. A trash can is down. That's it. I cannot complain. Cannot complain at all. It's super wet out here. Boy, there's a great big old spider there that's super happy. I won't be going over there. Mm -mm, nope, spider, you can have it. These potatoes have died all the way back, and I got potatoes above the ground, y'all. There are potatoes above the ground. Now some of my tomato plants falling down, but they're green and they're happy again. Last year I harvested tomatoes through October, through mid to late October. Ugh. Some nice size tomatoes. Some of these don't look so happy. Uh oh, some on the ground. The wind must have knocked that down. It's not ready. Aw. Completely split open, completely. Uh, I might as well get them off though. No use in keeping them on the vine and they're unhappy. And it's not supposed to completely stop raining y'all. I think today is the last day. It's just wet, gooey, mushy but it's supposed to be the last day. So to go two months with no rain and nonstop rain now for three straight days, even though I'm picking a lot of tomatoes, the garden's not happy and it's starting to rain again. Some of them aren't bad. Oh, I gotta hurry. It's really gonna rain. I thought it was playing. I still got to make ketchup yet, so I definitely need a few more tomatoes. Oh, that one split open too. Oh well. 
I got tomatoes all over the place. These yellow jazz are completely split open. I need to get them off the vine though. Yep, we're gonna have to call these good. Most of these are done for the year. But y'all, these are just tomatoes. There's a couple way back here. So let's get back here. Mm-hmm. She said she got all of them. I see some she missed. And it's raining on me, so I need to hurry. There's another one on the ground. There's two more. Let me give you an idea of just how much rain we got. I'm going to show you my wheelbarrow. So here's my wheelbarrow. And y'all, it's full. It is full, full, full. You might not be able to tell just how full it is. But it's almost full to the top. That seems like that's a little more than two inches of rain. I'm gonna have to go back and double check that. I got a cucumber that's overripe. My goal was just to get tomatoes though. I'm not really trying to harvest cucumbers. I just didn't want any more tomatoes to split open. Aw. These are chocolate lightning and they're all split open. Like I will come out here later this week I'll harvest all of these peppers that are super happy. They are very, very happy about the rain. Just wanna get the tomatoes. Like this one's split open and it's not even ripe yet. I'm taking it anyway. Oh, the yellow tomatoes are split open as well. Oh, they split open bad. Uh, oh well, we will keep what we can, we will compost what we can't. Now I've never seen that before. I got a pepper that split wide open. The rain split one of the peppers open. Now I've never seen that. That's okay, we're in good shape. We are in good shape, highly favored and greatly blessed. Yeah, we're doing okay. We are doing okay. Oh, I didn't show you the front yard. Oh, missed that one. Let's walk around to the front before it rains too much. Look at that celery, y'all. Look how green that celery is. And look how bad the basil looked, but then how deep and dark green that celery is. Still got two containers of potatoes. Have one little limb down right there, just one little one out there. You might not even be able to see it, it's so small. And just a lot of leaves. I got a couple flowers I need to set up, but nothing major. All right, we got to see kind of what's going on out here and we harvested at least a basket of tomatoes and one cucumber. So here's our harvest today after 60 mile per hour winds, I think is the way we had gust up to 60 miles per hour and rain over the last couple of days. A lot of damage to these tomatoes, but this is what we got. Here are the weights for the tomatoes. And um, so this is a week though. It's been a week since I've harvested and so I'm still getting a lot of food and I probably will get a lot more once this rain stops 
and we have good weather I think for the next 10 days so we will keep it coming I'm going to keep trying to grab as much food as I can later this week we'll get out there and we'll harvest everything else I just wanted to take care of the tomatoes today if you enjoyed the video and the update after the storm please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel I'll keep them coming I'm going to show you everything the good the bad the ugly and the busted tomatoes <laughs> so until next time and i hope there will be a next time that you hang out with me kim at kim's cozy corner bye